Clancy's plug tobacco spices the morning air. They move out from the pier. Tangled ropes, oilskins, the strident call of gulls fix her attention, steady her racing pulse. Wedges of polished water push around the hull, slapping the gunnels with a solid sound. Nothing breaks the surface, though they have circled now for half an hour. She does not speak, tuning her thoughts to frequencies not her own. At last the wavelength holds. She sees his shuddering body rising from the depths. Exploding velvet shoots up from the sea, lash of tail and fin, obsidian sleekness veiled in folds of spray. Clancy cuts the engine with relief. Unsteadily, she staggers to her feet. Out of her depth completely, dizzy with joy and fear, she slides into the sea, her senses sharpened by the stinging waves. The creature swoops beneath her. She basks in his playful presence, opening out her limbs. They rise and fall together, delirious dance, riding the gunmetal waves. She spirals out of time. The dolphin steers her, a buoyant rudder, cutting the choppy sea. Arcs in rainbow splendor over her supine form and dives into the foam. The sea's amniotic fluid rocks her in newfound peace. Heavy and waterlogged, she hoists herself aboard, never to break the elemental bond soldered in the deep. She turns to face the shore, heartened with the days ahead. Clancy sucks his pipe, rips the outboard into life. And takes